What's up, guys? Brian back to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming. I just saw it, thought it was a good movie, and wanted to talk about it a little bit. I'm not going to talk about spoilers or give anything away of that. I want you to go see the movie, so I don't want to ruin anything for you. I hate when people do that. So unless you want to know spoilers, click on some other video because that's not what this video is going to be about. It's going to just be about Spider-Man in general, the movies, and Spider-Man Homecoming, of course. So here we go. So first and foremost, I want you to go see the movie as it's a very good Spider-Man movie. But is it the best Spider-Man movie ever? We'll talk about why and why not it is or it isn't. Post your comments below and tell us your thoughts. Now, Spider-Man got reborn to me, at least, with the Tobey Maguire movies. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, just Spider-Man in general. And I've never been the biggest Spider-Man fan. I've been more of an X-Man fan. And Spider-Man 1 and 2 were very good. Spider-Man 3 is probably the worst Spider-Man movie of the entire series, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and Marvel Studios Spider-Man that took it over and made this Spider-Man Homecoming different kind of character. But Spider-Man 3 by far is terrible, and it was just the storyline, it was just almost comical how bad it was. Then they went Amazing Spider-Man, totally different storyline concept with characters other than Spider-Man of course. but. It was okay, Andrew Garfield was okay as Spider-Man, Peter Parker, but I didn't really think it was that great of a storyline in general. The villains were pretty terrible, they weren't anything great, they're like, oh man, you know. And that's a problem with Marvel movies, is that the villains aren't that great. The heroes are better, but the villains aren't, and kind of in DC is the vice versa. But then Spider-Man 2, well I should rephrase that, the amazing Spider-Man 2, just really was okay, not really good at all, but they're all better than Spider-Man 3, that's for sure. But as for Homecoming, a lot of action, good story. Tom Holland does very good. I think it's a great storyline because Peter Parker, to me, is supposed to be in high school. And this character is in high school. And that whole, is he a high school student? Is he Spider-Man? Is he a superhero? I like the involvement of Iron Man. The Avengers are definitely connected somehow with Spider-Man. And where in Captain America Civil War... It's a nice connection where it all feels together in one unified movie, which connects the dots and it's really cool, especially the bad guy, Michael Keaton, who's basically like the vulture, I guess, if you know the comics. And he's not the strongest villain by any means. I like him as Batman. I like Michael Keaton for sure. And he does a great job in the movie for various reasons. But Michael Keaton has, to me, has had a resurgence and I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna complain by any means. But he'll always be Batman to me. The first Batman, one of the best Batman for sure. What do you think, guys? You like Michael Keaton or not? Like I said, post your comments below what you think of the movie. And I guess even Michael Keaton. Like I said before, Iron Man, if you've seen the trailers, you've seen all that, you know that he's involved. You know, Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau, they're pretty good. They, their involvement doesn't take away from Spider-Man. It only adds to it. Spider-Man in general, to me, is a good teenager superhero Tom Holland definitely, even though he's 21, plays a good teenager in high school, and I liked it overall. There's a lot of funny parts, a lot of good things, and if you like Spider-Man, if you like the Avengers, if you like Marvel, it just continues that. So it's definitely one of those things that I recommend you go see for various reasons. And I know when I saw Spider-Man, the theater was packed with kids, adults, everyone loves Spider-Man, right? I mean, it's a, it's a kid-friendly movie, it's very funny. And Stan Lee's favorite character is Spider-Man, I believe, and I can see his involvement. Now, what do you think of Spider-Man in general? Do you like the character, love the character? I guess it depends on your age. I like the character. I'm not in love with the character. He's not my favorite by any means. But is this Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, the best Spider-Man movie? To me, it's up there. I like Spider-Man 1 and with Tobey Maguire, and I like this one as well. So they're probably like 1 and 2, 1 and 1A. It's pretty cool because of the Avengers involvement, but is it the best? I don't know. I still want to give it the best standalone Spider-Man movie is Tobey Maguire's first Spider-Man movie. This is definitely a close second to me. So there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts of Spider-Man and is Spider-Man Homecoming the best Spider-Man movie out there yet. Thank you for watching, guys, and you guys are awesome.